In this project, I will show you how to make an Arduino based power and energy meter that can measure current, power and energy consumption using INA219 current sensor and show it on OLED display. You can see your voltage, current, power and energy data on OLED display. The INA219 current sensor is an I2C supported interface based zero drift and bidirectional current power monitoring module. It can measure the current, voltage and power of a circuit. We can easily use INA219 current sensor with Arduino to measure current, power and it can also sense the shunt voltage. This sensor module is provided with 0.1 ohms and a 1% shunt resistor to fulfill the requirement of current measurements. It can measure DC voltages up to 26 volt and there are so many other technical details. You can learn them from the link provided in the description. This video is brought to you by PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com is one-stop solution for all the PCB needs like PCB prototyping, SMD stencil, PCB assembly, etc. Currently, they are offering 10 pieces of two-layered PCB at just $5. So, you can get your first prototype PCB ready from PCBWay.com. The link is in the description below. Just click on the PCB Instant Code tab and then click on Quick Order PCB. Now you can select and upload the Gerber file of the PCB and place your first order. So without further delay, let's get started. In order to make this project, we need the following components. Arduino Nano. zero point nine six inch i two c OLED display INA two one nine current sensor bridge board and few jumper wires. The maximum voltage that can be measured with INA two one nine sensor is twenty six volt and the maximum current is 3.2 ampere. The operation voltage of INA219 is between 3 volt and 5.5 volt. We can use different Arduino boards with an operating voltage of 5 volt or ESP8266 and ESP32 microcontroller with a lower operation voltage of 3.3 volt to read the voltage and current sensor values. The sensor values are transferred through the I2C communication protocol between the INA219 module and the microcontroller. The wiring of INA219 with Arduino is shown here. In my case, I powered the INA219 from the microcontroller with 5 volt, but you can also use 3.3 volt instead. Also, you have to connect the clock SCL and the data SDA pins of the I2C communication to send the information about voltage, current and power from INA219 sensor to the microcontroller. Now connect the Arduino Nano INA219 current sensor and OLED display as per the circuit diagram. You can use the power from Arduino if you don't have battery to test this project. Now let's take a look at this schematic I use for testing INA219 sensor module. I use an Arduino Nano for the microcontroller and for the load I use one green LED. To display the change of the current and the voltage value, I use this small OLED display. After we connected all the parts, let's dive into the program code. To compile and upload this code, you need to install the required library. So you need to install Adafruit INA219 
and Adafruit SST1306 library in your Arduino IDE. As you can see here, in the first part of the code, we include the wire and Adafruit INA219 and Adafruit SST1306 library. The wire library enables the microcontroller to use the I2C communication protocol. Because INA219 current and voltage sensor are connected to the microcontroller with I2C protocol. The Adafruit INA219 library makes the handling of the sensor itself easier because we only need to use one function for each measurement. The SST1306 library is used to display the result on OLED display. After the three libraries are included, OLED display with height and addresses are defined. Similarly, Adafruit INA219 object is created with the name INA219. We created float variables for each measurement that are all set to 0. In the setup function, we open the serial communication with the baud rate of 115200 because I want to display the measurement to the serial monitor of the Arduino ID. Also with the help of loop, we wait until the serial port is co connected. Then we initialize the OLED display with its I2C address. In the second part of the setup function, the INA219 object is initialized with the begin function. And if the object cannot be initialized, we know that something is wrong with the chip. Therefore, we print the error message to the serial output. In the loop function, we start measuring the values and keep the measurements to each of the variables that we have declared earlier. Now, every variable is filled by the get function of the Adafruit INA219 library, but the load voltage is calculated by adding the shunt voltage to the bus voltage. The deviation of 1000 is only done to match the units. Finally, we display all those calculated values on the OLED display. So this is the final source code of this program. Now you can upload this program code to your Arduino board. And after successfully uploading the program code, you can open the serial monitor to check the current power and energy consumption using INA219 current sensor. Similarly, you can see all the measured data on the OLED display as shown here. So this is how we created Arduino based power and energy meter using INA219 current and voltage sensor. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. It's me Elson signing off for today. Catch you soon on the next one. Thank you.